We have been making Korean sandwiches, Japanese sandwiches. Today, I want to show you how to make our favorite Pinoy sandwiches. These are sandwiches I remember growing up with. Let's get started. We will start with chicken sandwich. For the chicken sandwich, I have here one cup of cooked and flaked chicken meat or chicken breast without skin. To this, I'm going to add three tablespoons of condensed milk. I don't use sugar because sugar will make the filling watery. I use condensed milk. You can use one to two tablespoons. Depends on how sweet you want it to be. And then we add a little vinegar. If you have pickle relish, you add pickle relish. If you don't have pickle relish, I use vinegar because we need the tartness. And then we need salt, just a pinch of salt and a pinch of pepper. All right. And then mayonnaise is between two thirds to three fourths cup. Depends on how much uh, mayonnaise you want on your filling. Okay, this is enough. I think this is two-thirds. This is how my mom would make the chicken sandwich. However, if you want to level it up a bit, you add some celery for color. If you don't like celery, then you can just take this out, okay? Just a small amount of celery. Sometimes they put onions. If you put onions, please don't forget to chop the onions, put a pinch of salt, then you wait 10 minutes. Once the juices of the onions come out, you squeeze the onions and then add the onions to the sandwich filling, throw away the water, okay? That way, uh, you remove the raw taste of the onions, okay? So like this, this is just for color, a little flavor, not too much, okay? I, when I was growing up, I remember my mom would make chicken sandwich, but uh, they would flake the chicken very finely now we want them chunky because we want to be able to see the chicken okay then if you like we cut off the ends but personally you know, for home use, I wouldn't cut off the ends because, you know, it's a waste. Then we cut this into a triangle. Here's our chicken sandwich. We're going to make rainbow cheese sandwich. Here we have uh, this is 160 grams or one box, 160, 180 grams of cheddar cheese. You grate the cheddar cheese. Then you add about three tablespoons of condensed milk. Between three to four tablespoons condensed milk. All right. And then... We're going to make this rainbow cheese. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to divide this into three because I'm going to do three colors. Okay, I have here red color. My intention is to make pink, not to make red. Okay. This color is good for me. And then we have green. And then we have yellow, all right? So here we have the three colors now. All right, so we have the bread. If you don't have condensed milk, you can use evaporated milk or full cream milk with a little sugar. The Filipino, the uh, typical Kinoy sandwich, not the ones that you buy in the restaurants. They always tend to be a little bit sweeter, okay? So we put one on top of the other. Okay, and then four. And then we make a slice. 
here. As I said, for my personal use, I don't take out the ends because I feel the bread is being wasted. Okay. And then, let's slice this. And here's your rainbow bread. Right? We will make egg sandwich next. I have four pieces of hard boiled eggs. We have two thirds to three fourths cup of sandwich spread. One tablespoon of condensed milk. One four teaspoon salt. One eight teaspoon of white pepper. So you mix the white pepper and the salt and the condensed milk. to the sandwich spread. You mix this together. You can also use mayonnaise with pickled relish instead of sandwich spread. Okay. And then this one, this is how I chop my uh, eggs. I put it in, the, in an egg slicer like this. And then Do this okay here is our egg sandwich going all right so here we cover Okay, by the way, it's up to you if you want to put more filling. If you want to make take a nice picture, then you should have more filling. Okay. Alright. And then, we take out the ends again. Are you sure? Egg sandwich. Let's make tuna sandwich. This is two cans of tuna, either in brine or in oil. You drain it well. One can is about 180 grams. Right here. And then, to take out the fishy uh, smell, I always put, this is two teaspoons of calamansi juice or lemon juice is fine, okay? And then I'm going to add apples. You can use one big apple or two small ones. The amount is variable. It will not change the taste. And then you need about two tablespoons of celery. If you don't like celery, you can replace with onions. If you don't like onions or celery, just take them out. Then I have here condensed milk, two tablespoons. If you don't want your filling sweet, then you can take out the condensed milk. Then I have here mayonnaise. Mayonnaise is about three-fourths cup. All right. And then, last, I have here, uh, you can add, or you may not add, this is cream cheese. Cream cheese is nice when you put this on the sandwich. And then, you can put a pinch of salt, well, two pinches of salt, and a pinch of pepper, okay? And this is ready. The apples will give you crunch. Sometimes, if I don't have apples, I put peaches. Uh, they, they give a nice touch to the... Uh, it goes well with the tuna. Not so... not as much. Maybe like maybe half a cup.
we will make spicy tuna next. Uh, for the spicy tuna, you need to buy two cans of hot and spicy tuna. You drain it well. And this is how it looks. All right. And then, same with the other tuna. I always put calamansi. This is about two teaspoons of calamansi juice. So you take out the langsi from the uh, fishy smell from the tuna. And then I have condensed milk, one tablespoon. Condensed milk you can put between one to two tablespoons, okay? And then you have mayonnaise. You need about two thirds cup. Okay. Okay. You will notice this one is a little bit runny, okay? But that's all right. This is how it, how the hot and spicy is. Okay. And then here, you put a slice of cheese. All right. And then we cover this. Okay. We're going to make pineapple cheese pimiento. So this is also uh, one bar or 160 to 180 grams of grated cheddar cheese. Uh, crushed pineapple, one small can of crushed pineapple, you drain it. Then you have pimiento or red bell pepper. You blanch this because you don't want to eat this raw. You just boil water and dip this in boiling water and then after uh, two minutes, take it out. And then you have condensed milk, as usual. And then we have mayonnaise. Mayonnaise is about two thirds to three fourths cup. You know the cheese of the pineapple is a very, very good combination. Right, then close. Close. Okay. Next, we will make the classic grilled cheese sandwich. Okay. First, you need to put butter. And then we have cheese slices here. I want to put two slices. Okay. So here, I might as well use up uh, everything. Okay. But one slice is enough, okay? Okay, the side with the butter should be the one outside. Okay, and then flip. Put butter again. The butter will give the uh, bread or the toast a nice brown color. Okay, let's put this one down. Okay. You have to cook this slowly so that the uh, cheese will melt. I have many recipes to share with you. If you're interested, please like, share, subscribe and click the notification bell so you can be alerted when a new video is uploaded we'll see if the bottom is brown we can flip this yes we can Press it down so the cheese will melt, okay? The cheese has melted. Okay, so let's take this out. 
and then we cut this see the cheese is melty all right 